Hi, this is Shadi. This week I went to train Kudo and film the training. It was in Paris 12. I will leave their website and Instagram below. So, as you all know, I don't have any striking experience. I am a black belt in Aikido, Judo, and blue belt in Jiu Jitsu. So, um, it was the last training of the season. It was very light, it wasn't competition class. So we did a mix of grappling and striking and right off the bat I knew I have so much to learn and striking is not only a lot of cardio as you know but it's also a lot of uh, really being synchronized with your entire body as you move, as you strike, etc. Now there is such a thing in judo of course with the uchi komi and the nage komi etc. But in striking is a different beast so really feeling the rhythm of your movement and then uh, striking uh, accordingly it was something that I have struggled with and I realized just how l little I knew about striking so there was these uh, drills where you tap the shoulder and you move and dodge there was also for the kicks as well, for low kicks. Um, so there was this one here in particular where you synchronize with the movement of your partner. And as you are coming in, you tap the shoulder. It looks easy, but if you have no striking experience, it can be up and you, you find yourself embarrassing yourself. And uh, you do one and then one, two. And it's uh, moving like this in a very little space and you're constantly jumping is also a lot of cardio if you don't know so it's not just the explosiveness of judo in the stand-up there's just so many things that one has to learn in order to become knowledgeable or at least efficient in all the areas uh, of fighting it was a very good experience it was a lot of fun and so other things here where there's uh, the dodging so you don't move your head in big movements it's just a little bit so kind of like when the samurai or everything that has to do with kenjutsu etc uh, the they say the blade of the sword is very thin so you just move accordingly no big movements because they're ready to come back with the other one so here for example these little uh, pushes to the side of the strikes we did these in aikido now obviously there was no sparring so you don't get to develop any type of awareness or the needed awareness sure you understand but here for example he's telling me barely move your hand just lightly tap it away from you because if you give a big movement you're uncovering your face and your opponent will come back at you this one i really liked so it's you shove the fist and then you cover your chin with your shoulder and you tuck your chin in and uh, again no big movements no uh, flinching with your head just a bit of shoulder movement tucking your chin in and you uh, keep yourself protected because again never forget they're coming back with the second one it's, this isn't about one two or one two three uh, it's it's continuous movement so no flinching no looking away here for example i'm flinching i'm i'm looking away obviously because i don't have the experience nor do i have the proper reflex so uh, the whole thing what i'm doing it uh, for example no gi jujitsu i wanted to get rid of that worry of the context of someone not having a jacket and i was successful i'm doing my throws here it's another thing where they're striking so maybe in the future i'll i'll go for more perhaps now here this is something i it always interested me it was so when you're on your back and the kudo uh, rules is i believe a few seconds and what they can do is the guy that's above he can strike you everywhere except for your face obviously for the health of the athletes but nonetheless you still have to be mindful of the uh, punches so it it uh, develops something that's very important you on the other hand can hit upwards to the face so it's something that's uh, very important and I was talking about it and some people even they're so good that 
they even make themselves efficient in the deep half guard uh, in MMA. So um, this is something I always wanted to train. You see uh, the Gracie brothers talk about it. And of course, I wanted to discuss it as well. And in Kudo, it is a thing. You can also leg lock without torsions. So here we were doing um, single legs as you go in from the striking. And here I realize how unequipped I am to handle uh, legs properly. You know, being a judoka from the 2010s era, he says that you you grab and you keep pushing uh, because you, you don't want to keep them uh, afloat or comfortable. So always pushing, not just rotating or running in the pipe. There is a lot to be done. Uh, the trainer, his name is Jan, is also uh, an MMA fighter in the past and also a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. So here I realized just how you know, out of touch in some aspects I am, not only just striking but also going in for the legs, etc. Now I can always go for the leg in kataguruma as you've seen me but um, not so much. So there was a little bit of sparring like uh, English boxing and now here from the clinch you can strike uh, lightly uh, and then you can you take the fight to the ground this guy with the ponytail I or the man bun is also a judoka so uh, there was a bit of sparring uh, I'll show you later my my uh, sparring and so here you can see uh, he keeps a lot of pressure top pressure to be exact and uh, it was very uncomfortable for me you'll see it in just a second and so here he gets him and rear naked choke finishes it. So um, it was a very good experience. Uh, now let's go to my sparring. And uh, so I was trying in, he was pushing at the waist and then here grabs my leg. Again, no defense, zero defense. I grab the belt and I go for Hikikomi Kaishi. Look how good he is at preventing the, the sweep and me turning him over and going to the top um, he puts a lot of pressure so guard recovery is always important in those types of scenarios now here trying to keep him close and uh, maybe e either isolating an arm or here scissor sweep but again very good at maintaining pressure very hard to sweep and um, so knee shield triangle uh, pulling collar sleeve sticking with the fundamentals trying to sweep again no he He's, his defense is really good and you, that's the thing with videos you don't feel the pressure that someone's giving you so um, here when someone is trying to to collect your legs and going in the best thing you can do is keep your knees close to you because if they collect your legs and they're far away from you they're gonna pass easily here I tried to go for a uh, uh, Udegarami or Kimura but uh, I didn't have control of the shoulder I was in half guard so here we fight off camera a bit for a bit so um, we reset and then uh, I try to keep a knee shield but the t time finished so it was two minute rounds uh, light tapping with the striking the knees and the I, obviously I didn't have the equipment so I couldn't do the entire sparring nonetheless it was a very good uh, experience and uh, I really enjoyed it so um, this wasn't competition class and there's also another main teacher a Japanese teacher uh, who teaches I believe Tuesday uh, wait Saturdays but this was the uh, final uh, training of the year and um, it was a lot of fun it was very eye-opening it's a very small group this time but if you go to their Instagram you'll see that they're actually quite a big group and uh, you see people from different training backgrounds and it's it's a lot of fun a few actually recognize me and my channel so I was happy about that so if you have anything to add let me know down below here I wore back my black belt for some pictures this was Shadi and thank you for listening